all right welcome once again to potter's media and this is a good news finally there is rejoicing of course in the camp of the redemption city as pastor ea adeboye properly known as the geo came out openly at the youth ongoing youth convention some few hours back to apologize for what he said about titan before we go into that video let me give us a quick recap on what he said four years ago that trended then we will see his video of him repenting of what he said about tithes i am going to give every one of you pastors an opportunity to repent tonight and then to go back immediately after this convention and restitute your ways with your congregation make it clear to them anyone who is not paying his tithe is not going to heaven full stop now um, i'm going to be talking to everybody as soon as god permits me i'm going to be apologizing for making a mistake for saying that if you don't pay tight, you, you might not make it to heaven. I'm sorry, that's wrong. That's not in the Bible. What the Bible says is, is he at peace with all men and holiness, without which no man shall see God. Now, let me tell you, listen to me, you know it is possible to be right and wrong at the same time, I will prove it to you, I mean I'm a scientist, so I know that, for years we taught that light travels in straight lines. Now, is that correct? At least those of you who know a little bit of physics will say, sure, but light doesn't bend at corners, it goes straight. But later on we discover it's not just what, not straight as a rod. Light travels in waves, going one direction, but in waves. It is wrong to limit you to 10%. At a time when some of you should be 20%, 30%, 40%. Ten percent should be for beginners. And I, I believe God will give me an opportunity very soon to tell you the details. Giving should be violently. Violently. You want to be the one in top? You want to be the one who will control finances? You're going to go far, far beyond 10%. I've told you the story before. <laughs> I don't know why I'm preaching this sermon before it is time, but well, maybe because God wants you to hear it first. <laughs> Several years ago, I went to an trading camp meeting program, and they wanted to raise funds for their Bible college. And a man came on stage, got permission from them, and said, please let me talk, and call his wife. And they whispered. And the husband made the announcement. He said, my wife and I have agreed. Whatever all of you contribute, is what we shall contribute. 
everything, all of and at, at that meeting we were 17,000. So whatever all of you contribute, that's what my wife and I will contribute. Uh -huh. And those who didn't want to contribute before say, hey, you're in trouble. At the end of the day, people gave like, I mean, those who didn't want to do it before gave angrily. At the end, he said, please count it, so I want to know. They counted the whole thing, $3.5 million. We said, now you are in trouble. He answered and said, brethren, is that all you can do? So I decided, <laughs> this man knows something I don't know. I must find out his secret. After this service, I cornered him. Tell me your secret. I came all the way from Africa. He said, you want to know? I said, I want to know. He said, five years ago, I started the company with $500. And I said to God, you are my senior partner. The business is yours. Prosper the job, the, the business. And I will not insult you with 10%. I will give you 90%. Oh, oh yes, I, I'm, I'm sure some of you have heard the story before. He says, sir, five years later, my turnover now is $50 million. I say, is that so? He says, yes. I say, okay, sir. Thank you. And from that day onward, I have been increasing my own percentage steadily. I'm not 90% yet. <laughs> but I'm far from 10%. It's wrong for me to say you should be pay only 10%. No, 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 no. Because we're going to dominate. <laughs> Whether you believe it or not, by the special grace of God, there are people here, when they are talking about the richest people in the whole world, they will mention your name. Violent giving. And no doubt, a lot of persons will receive this with misreaction because here we see a man coming out clearly to recount the word he said in the past and also coming to say it would be an insult for him to just require people to give 10%. Okay, people should be given the opportunity to give way beyond 10%. So, for what it presents, I'm hoping that subsequently the emphasis on tithing. May, might just subsidize since he has come up only to say what he said in the past about titan are you going to have not paying titan is wrong and obviously he said people should be allowed to give more than 10 percent and on the other hand some persons might just want to see this as yet another tactics to demand more resources from persons okay now for what this present, for what this video presents, I'm going to look into this statement probably in the next of my video. I just want to give us a quick update. So I'll look into what he said and perhaps bring other ministers and their opinion about this aspect of giving. But for what he present now, I'm hoping subsequently this whole issue of tithing and emphasis on tithing will die down and it will just be emphasis on giving. Whether you agree that people should not give below 10% or above 10%. We should as well appreciate the man for coming out to say what I said in the public is wrong and I'm here coming to correct and he gave illustration. So I don't want to know what you think about this video, right? And also look out for the next of our video where we'll do a proper analysis, bringing up different ministers' opinion who to some extent owe this level of um, idea as just numerated by Daddy E and the way. Please make sure to leave your comment on the comment section. Of course, you are free to disagree, but remember, when you're dropping your comments, please be modest.